The process to correct fish barriers is varied and unique at each one of our project sites. I'm really excited to share with you today an up close and personal view of the construction of one of our fish barrier corrections in Pierce County, which really highlights some of these unique elements. What you'll see are the many efficiencies and considerations that we've applied to the project in order to successfully reestablish passage to salmon. Contractor crews currently working for the Washington State Department of Transportation are correcting three culverts on Minter Creek and Little Minter Creek, located along State Route 302 in Pierce County near Purdy. This work is part of WashDOT's Fish Passage Barrier Removal Program, which identifies and removes barriers to fish caused by culverts under state highways. With the help of the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife, the culverts at Minter Creek and Little Minter Creek were categorized as barriers since they posed challenges to fish movement and migration along the channels. The culvert at Minter Creek was considered a barrier due to velocity, meaning the water exiting the culvert was too fast for some fish to swim through. This culvert is being replaced with a concrete bridge. The culverts on Little Minter Creek are tributaries to Minter Creek, which is located less than a quarter of a mile away. These were considered barriers due to depth and water surface drop, meaning there was not enough water for some fish to swim through, or the culvert was perched too high above the surrounding water. These passages are being replaced with larger concrete box culverts for improved migration. Each of the new structures will create access for fish to swim freely to upstream habitat. While there are some similar elements to all fish passage projects, the many considerations that go into design and construction often lead to project-specific approaches and efficiencies. The barrier corrections at Minter Creek and Little Minter Creek are no exception. One of the most important project considerations is how much potential habitat gain will result from fixing a barrier. This refers to the number of miles that fish will have better access to once the barrier is corrected. WashDOT places a high priority on correcting barriers with the greatest potential habitat gain, which is just one of the reasons that barrier corrections at Minter Creek and Little Minter Creek are currently underway. Fixing these three sites will open over 29 miles of potential habitat gain for fish. While WashDOT looks for ways to be efficient on every project, since most projects are so unique, these efficiencies may take many different forms. For example, Habitat gain was not the only consideration for these barrier corrections. These three barriers were bundled together into a single construction contract due to proximity. There are many benefits to this approach, one of which is reducing impacts to the traveling public in the surrounding area. Another benefit is reducing overall costs of the barrier corrections through contractor efficiencies. To avoid years of back-to-back -back construction fatigue and frustration for drivers, we consider the cost benefit of bundling these barriers into one contract. Traffic impacts are another big consideration for fish passage projects, and traffic control was especially challenging at this site due to very narrow right-of-way and high traffic volumes along the Key Peninsula. The narrow right-of-way required temporary property rights from adjacent property owners to access the project site and to stage construction materials. The high traffic volumes required one lane of traffic in each direction to be maintained in addition to the construction of a temporary bridge to keep traffic moving. Traffic had to be shifted over to the temporary structure while constructing the new bridge. Additional intermittent detours and road closures were also necessary to get this job done. Ultimately, the old culvert will be removed and traffic shifted to the new bridge once the project is fully complete. One of the unique advantages of this project is that the site conditions allow for construction to occur all year round, since it was possible to build the new bridge on top of the existing culvert. This reduced time and cost and minimized the work that needed to occur in the water, which is often restricted to only a few weeks during the summertime. Site-specific constraints require unique solutions. Without the flexibility to adapt to local conditions, many fish barrier corrections would not be able to realize these efficiencies. Eventually, this stream will be temporarily diverted prior to removal of the existing culverts. This requires working outside of the narrow roadway to dam the stream and temporarily reroute it. Being able to work all year round is also especially helpful when projects run into unknowns during construction, which in some cases is unavoidable. For example, while constructing the new bridge on Minter Creek, the contractor encountered large pieces of an old bridge that was demolished in this location in 1950. These had to be removed before the new bridge elements could be installed. Again, a seemingly minor disruption that can sometimes delay project progression. Utilities were also a consideration on this project and required advanced coordination with a local utility company. A telephone pole was relocated before construction to minimize any disruption of services. 
This is common on many fish passage projects since utilities that convey internet, electricity, and other vital services commonly run along our state highways in the WashDOT right-of-way. After the Minter Creek project is completed, post-project monitoring is required to ensure the barriers are constructed as designed and permitted and remain passable to fish. This work is an important part of WashDOT's responsibility to restore natural stream conditions and help protect and restore salmon runs, ultimately benefiting both the Pacific Northwest landscape and economy. For more information, please visit our website. Thank you for watching.